just to add on to that, there's a prophetic hadith which said, Kullullah min nabata besohti. Wonderful. That's very good. That was the hadith I tried to say, but it got, got just escaped my, out of my mind. <laughs> okay. That is the, the, the flesh which is being fed, mm -hmm. uh, which is being grown out of filthy and haram, yeah. you know, uh, living. Mm -hmm. So that will definitely uh, may, may find mm -hmm. its resting place in Jahannam. Definitely. God forbid. Well, uh, Amen. Oh. Okay. Uh, still on transactional trade. Mm -hmm. uh, someone said uh, they deal with institutions that lend and keep money. Yes. Not the banks specifically, mm -hmm. because most of the banks did in yesterday, as you mm -hmm. said here. Yeah. Now, this is the credit union system, yeah. you know, which are uh, low income earners and some, some people will deposit their money, yeah. you know, in order to have something that they can take care of their lives with. Yeah. He said that kind of dealing, Islamically, you know, what is, what is, what is Islam's take on that? You know, you see, the problem is when you lend money and you get a return out of the capital, like let's say you lend 100,000 and eventually get 120,000. Where is this 20,000 coming from, from, from? What is the basis of adding 20,000? Because Islam recognizes what you call al-Qabdul Hassan. Although in modern Islamic banking, they will tell you that um, uh, you, you, you better engage in, 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 in something that you may, call, you, you may call profit and loss sharing process. You know, uh, sometimes, like, in, in, in other words, when you deposit your money in the bank, the bank can, you know, use the money to do business. Islam halal business, and if the bank gets some profit, well, part of the profit comes to you because that was the agreement, like Murabah and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to lending money directly, what Islam recognizes, what Islam accepts is that nothing should come on top of the principle because there's this concept of Qadr Hazan. You know, people only go to seek loan when they are in dire need of it. Mm -hmm. And somebody who is uh, uh, under severe pressure, financial pressure, mm -hmm. need somebody to rescue him. Mm -hmm. You lend him money. Mm -hmm. If you lend him money and he pays you back the same capital, the same amount, mm -hmm. you have got your money back and you get reward also from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm -hmm. So you cannot get, um, uh, and you are, you are therefore not expected to put anything on top of the capital. If you put anything on top of the capital, mm -hmm. then it becomes haram. Okay. Yeah. Although, I, like I said the last time, we will have to, have a special session on riba, mm -hmm. maybe after this preliminary discussion. Yeah. But this exactly, this is what one of the issues that will be definitely addressed. Okay. So what, what, what I will advise that is that once you are out to lend your money to needy people to help them, don't put anything, don't add anything, any interest mm -hmm. or anything, whatever name you call it. Mm -hmm. The amount of money that you lend, make sure that you are paid the same amount of money so that you, you get your money back and you get reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the sense that somebody was in their need of help and you help in form of lending him money mm -hmm. and you get your money back. Mm -hmm. And that is why there also, it's also, there's this, lo the longest fast in Al-Quran al the, the ayah today, mm -hmm. that when, when, when we enter into loan transactions, mm -hmm. we make sure that we pay, we, mm -hmm. we honor, mm -hmm. we honor the loan. Mm -hmm. Many people, particularly in our country, mm -hmm. they are very happy to take loan, but they are not willing to pay it back, mm -hmm. which is again un-Islamic. You must be very grateful to person who lend you money, mm -hmm. but when time comes for you to pay, you must pay it back. So that tomorrow, when you need it, you get it, or somebody else needs it, he gets it. Okay. You understand? Okay. Sometimes bitter experience make people not willing to assist or to, you know, help others. Allah okay. Allah. There we was, uh, as you may understand, this is a program where you can test, text rather, and ask questions pertaining to what we are discussing. The number you can send your text message to is 9050200, 9050200. For those outside the country, 9050200, inshallah, when you send in your text messages, we'll forward them to Ustaz. Now, doctor, when you come to trade, in transactional trade, uh, you realize that not only goods, you know, are, are, are items of trade, mm. but services also, yeah. are also, also products that yeah. people trade in. Now, if you come to GRTS, for example, mm. we have airtime. Yeah. You go to the radio stations, mm -hmm. which, which, are, which is booming here, yeah. you know, airtime, yeah. At the time they sell to you and whatsoever. Yeah. Now, in those kind of d dealings, yeah. what is the rule? Well, uh, the, 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 the rule is typically that of honesty and sincerity. Yeah. What the RTS charges you, what the registration charges you must be in line. What you may call with, with, what, what you may call with the concept of reasonable, reasonable profit. Um, uh, you know, like I said, the essence of trade or embarking on trade, the essence of these transactions is to make profit out of it. You cannot expect the institution to give you airtime without making anything out of it. But again, you too, 
uh, you must be honest enough to make sure that the, the, the agreement, the contract, because it's, it's the, obligation, the, the relationship is always contractual. Mm -hmm. You honor your part of the contract, mm -hmm. the institution owners is part of the contract, and none of them, you know, ask something in an, in, an, in an exploitative way, in a way that exploits others, mm -hmm. or in a way that may lead to over-profiteering. Mm -hmm. Insofar as they're keeping within the limit, uh, it's, uh, it, uh, it will be in line with the teaching of Islam. Mm -hmm. Some believe mm -hmm. that it is because of others, mm -hmm. that why, that's why we are s people are finding it difficult to, to, to access, you know, goods that should have been much more easier to buy. Mm -hmm. For example, produce that are mm -hmm. grown in this country. Mm -hmm. You know, you have the intention of selling your tomato, or your mango mm -hmm. for five dollars. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you sell this mango for five dollars, you cannot have a cup of rice for five dollars. Mm -hmm. So you have to take it, adjust it mm -hmm. to another level yeah. where its cost will commensurate with the cost of something you want to buy. Yeah, yeah. Some believe that that mm -hmm. is what is causing the hike of price. Yes. What is your take? And that is why it is important for government as the regulatory authority to come in and regulate the environment. You cannot rule out the role of government. Government has a very important role to play. Mm -hmm. They have to come in the picture to regulate the environment and also to protect the, the ordinary consumers. Mm -hmm. Let me give you an example. I remember there was a time we went to Tangi. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody told us that the fish becomes very expensive in Tangi because the hoteliers mm -hmm. come and buy them in large bulk mm -hmm. with a very good price. So much for mm -hmm. the ordinary people. The ordinary Gambians, mm -hmm. who also naturally need the same fish mm -hmm. for their uh, source of living, find it very difficult to get the good one. Mm -hmm. Because uh, and that's the essence of capitalism. Capitalism mm -hmm. is about competition for better benefit or for better price. Mm -hmm. Whereas in Islam, uh, as you know very well, uh, it's, uh, the, the principle of wasatiyah, mm -hmm. you understand? It must be, you must be in the middle. Mm -hmm. Charge for a profit, mm -hmm. but do not overcharge. Islam prohibits over profiteering because it is a form of exploitation. And any form of exploitation, uh, any form of dealing which makes the majority of the people dis, uh, you know, um, disadvantaged mm -hmm. becomes un-Islamic. Mm -hmm. Because you remember uh, you, you, that um, uh, the, the, uh, like Imam Shafi or Imam Abu Hanifa, I cannot remember one of the Imams said that mm -hmm. that the people are the sort of uh, uh, put it that way, children of God. Allah. And therefore, you must make sure that what in your dealing with people, you conduct your dealing in a way that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't deal with people in a way that makes Allah angry with you. If you are denying the majority of people the best source of living, simply because you want to make profit for your own individual interest, mm -hmm. that dealing definitely becomes un Islamic. Hold on, hold on. So someone said there yeah, that taxes also contribute to the hike of prices. Uh, yes, maybe it depends also on the type of tax. Although tax is part of uh, is, uh, an Islamic system of governance, also Islam recognizes the need for people to pay tax. The riba mm -hmm. or al uh, uh, the uh, first caliph, uh, the, the, the second caliph of Islam, Omar ibn al-Khattab, was the one, if I'm not mistaken, who decided on tax during the Islamic state. When there was a time uh, uh, they had problems about, you know, how to deal with vast lands. Mm -hmm placed under the authority of the state. Say the Ahmad decided that the land could be given to people to exploit the land, yeah. but they must be paying tax with the state. Yeah. So in other words, tax paying is yeah. part of an Islamic system of governance. Islam recognizes it. But again, the, um, government must be responsible to make sure that people are not overtaxed. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because the thing is, uh, you run the risk of uh, collecting so much money from the people and then let and then have few individuals mm -hmm. to benefit from what you collect from the people. Mm -hmm. But naturally, because the state is gov offering a lot of service to the people, people also must be contributing in terms of paying tax to enable the state, you know, uh, carry out its development project and its development program. Mm -hmm. But like, always remember the al wasatiya principle. Let be in a way which is very reasonable. People pay the tax, they go about their business, they survive fairly, and at the same time also the state clearly collect an amount of money uh, which, which is considerable enough for it to uh, execute its development project. What is the difference between tax and zakat? Uh, yes, Z you know, sometime um, in an Islamic system of governance, it, they may be confused. Uh, you know, uh, even though um, zakat um, is not imposed on services, whereas tax can be imposed on services, zakat is either out of uh, farm produce or livestock 
or, 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 in, uh, or, or you know, to, to, in the, the profit that the individual make or the way the individual make in transactions. Mm -hmm. Those are the issue areas where tax is imposed, whereas where, where zakat is imposed.